Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review. Super excited to see you again. And we are talking today about this, the Oakley Extractor Sling Pack. This is one that I have uh, had my eye on for quite a while and I'm excited to do a full walkthrough and review of this bag. All right, so you know what we do on this channel. We're gonna do a one take bag review and we're going to look at the exterior and interior of this bag in detail. At the end of that walkthrough, we're going to do two things we love about the bag, two things not so much, and then an overall recommendation. Should you snag yourself an Oakley Extractor Sling Bag? All right, let's dive in. All right, so Oakley. This is a sunglasses brand, right? Well, they do have a couple of backpacks of note. Um, so they do play around in the clothing and bag game, of course. Um, I'd say probably their most famous bag is the uh, kitchen sink bag. Sometimes people <laughs> label them in the resale market as the bathroom sink bag, um, but it's the kitchen sink bag. It's a ginormous laptop backpack bag with all kinds of doodads and dangles off of it. Haven't had a chance to review that one yet. I might in the future. This is their most popular sling bag. It is the extractor sling and you can see it is a rectangular form factor. Um, it comes in a couple of different colorways on their site. You can buy it on Amazon as well. This is in a black colorway with red detail stitching. Um, so we're going to walk through this bag. Um, exterior wise, uh, this is a Cordura bag. Uh, not the best material, not the heaviest material. Um, so it does feel a little bit pedestrian on the outside. Uh, it does have Molly attachment points on the bottom of the bag here. So looks like we've got tons of uh, attachment points on the bottom so you could attach, you know, a, a any kind of pouch that you wanted to down there. Um, but remember that this is the bottom of your sling and so it's going to be kind of hanging off at an angle on your back. So we'll talk about that here in a second. You have attachment points on the side along with a water bottle pocket that is mesh and stretchy. You can see here I have put a 20 ounce swell bottle into the pocket and you can see right away one of the design issues of this bag. Um, it is a semicircle, okay? Not quite, it's the top part of a circle. I'm sure that shape has a, a better name, but uh, like a protractor. It is the top part of a circle um, and the bottle holder uh, kind of has a lot of dead space at the bottom and you can't push the bottle past a certain point because there, unless you had a triangular shaped bottle or semicircle shaped bottle, it just ain't gonna go all the way down. So what do you end up with? You end up with a bag that kind of hangs out here. Um, it's an interesting design choice. We'll talk about it in more detail here in a minute. Uh, the attachment points on the side, you have eight um, and they are uh, of different shapes. <laughs> uh, let me rephrase that, of different sizes. So the ones in the middle are really tight. The ones on the outside, have a little bit more room, again, because of the shape of the bag. Um, so just know that these are kind of different sized attachment points and the ones in the middle are really small, really tight. Um, and you may have issues with those. On the back of the bag, we've got some interesting design choices going on. Uh, you have a uh, one, uh, one strap that is ambidextrous, meaning that you can easily clip it to one side or the other, depending upon your preference for shoulder carry. You also have attachment points up and down the strap, um, some visible padding here in the middle. Um, the whole thing is loosely, lightly padded, um, so not a ton of padding on the strap. The materials themselves are very pedestrian. Um, nothing feels super premium. It's very plasticky, uh, like the like hopping into the an entry level rental car, and you reach around and everything is made of hard plastic. That's how it feels. Um, the zipper pulls on the bag are really nice. So they're designed to kind of fast pull and they're really, really nice. So um, you've got a, a wide pull on here. Reminds me of the VanQuest pulls um, and I like those a lot. You do have a morale patch section up here. And um, I've got a couple of patches on the bag. I've got my flashlight clipped to the exterior of the bag as well. And on the back, you do have a really nice um, beefy uh, padded panel with airflow. Uh, the airflow 
Um, channels are not very deep, so uh, not as functional as they potentially could be, but it is well padded on the back. All right, so you can just toss this bag on and it rides really nicely on your back. On either shoulder, on either shoulder it's the same carry experience and it is a very comfortable bag to wear, although like I said, the strap itself is not very padded, but you don't really put a ton of stuff in a bag this size, so it, I didn't find it to be a major issue. All right, so let's talk about a couple of features here. I should say there is a hanging handle right here and a grab handle on the top as well. This grab handle also doubles as a quick open of the bag, so you can rip this bag open um, in a situation where you would need to, uh, and uh, that would come into play if you had a, a holster inside this bag, which I'll talk about here in a second. So in order to use kind of the, the quick rip open, the bag has to be mostly open, meaning, you know, these zipper pulls to the side. So once it's closed, you can't rip it open because it just doesn't work that way. Um, and so opening up like this, then you can pull this, just rip it down. And this whole bag butterflies open. So... Take a look at this. Whoop. So the whole bag butterflies open, looks like a kind of a, a manta ray shaped there. Uh, feels like one of those bags that, uh, those toiletry bags that you, you get that are like 10 bucks and you, you fold them open and you hang them on the bathroom mirror. It feels like an adult version of that, right? So this is kind of a, a cool layout of a bag. Um, and you've got a ton of pockets in here. So what's going on in this space? Well, on the front section, this kind of beaver tail that flaps all the way open here. You have a top pocket that is a, a very squishy padded material. It's not tons of padding, but it's much more padded than any other pocket on the bag. And there's a little kind of label there that says sunglasses, just to let you know, um, hey, that's where you put your glasses. So that's where I put my glasses. I've tossed my AirPods in there as well. This is the pocket that is most accessible from the top as well. Um, so it's the reach in pocket from the top of the bag, although you do have to open two sets of zippers to get to it. Um, so the top zipper and then this zipper to open up the pocket, but it is a good pocket. The second pocket is much deeper. So we'll flip this around. The second pocket is much deeper and it's mesh. The bottom two pockets are mesh. In this pocket, I've got um, my wallet and a Sharpie. And then the bottom pocket, I've got some business cards for the YouTube channel and some hand sanitizer. Then you have the side pockets. So there's side pockets on both sides of this sling. In this side pocket here, I've put my cords and my charger. So very useful side pockets here and pretty easy to get to. They zip up to the top. So when you do open it from the top, you can access the pocket. You don't have to flap the whole bag all the way open like I've done here. In the other pocket here, I've just put in kind of first aid supplies. Then you have on the back panel here, a hook and loop panel. And so this hook and loop panel, you know, the Oakley extractor sling comes with some options here. So you can use a kind of Molly attachment points in here. You can use a bag in here. I like the option of using a kind of a little gear bag in here to give it even more pockets and in mine, I stored my gimbal. So a little video pocket, SD cards, gimbal, etc. cetera, in, in there. Um, then on the back, you open this up and you have a tablet holder. So this is, remember, protected by this cushioning back here and it does have a false bottom on it. So it cuts off right about here. And so it is a very protected tablet sleeve um, although, disappointingly, the 11 inch iPad did not fit into this with the Magic Keyboard on. So it is perfectly sized for an 11 inch iPad, but not with a case or a Magic Keyboard. So naked iPad is the only way you're gonna get it in here. Or of course, an iPad mini with a case or a smaller tablet. Um, so you can carry your iPad in this bag. You can carry all your plugs that you would need to inside this bag itself with the um, pocket attached here. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, counting the tablet holder, nine interior pockets in a really small form factor. So really interesting bag and a lot going on. 
very unique and I've wanted to get my hands on it for a while and just try it practically. How does it carry? What is the experience like? So that's the review, the walkthrough of the bag. Let's talk about two things we like about the bag. So the first thing that I like about the bag is the amount of storage in this interior compartment. Boom. So this front pocket, especially the series of three front pockets is incredibly useful. And then the large side pockets on the side of the bag, also really, really useful. So I like that a lot. I think that's very useful. Um, and the pocket layout makes a ton of sense on the interior of the bag. The second thing I really like about the bag is how just, so I'm going to say I don't like and I like something this is going to be confusing. Okay. I love that this is no frills and that this is easy to change from one side to the other. And I like the padding of the back panel of this bag. I'm going to tell you something I don't like here in a second, which is I wish this was a more padded strap, not a, not an insane deal breaker, but I do like how this bag feels when it's on your bag on your back and it carries really nicely. The shape itself um, is an attractive shape and the bag I think overall is an attractive bag. So it carries really nicely, rides really nicely on your back um, and it is a comfortable bag to wear. Uh, and it's pretty tough to overload this bag because of the size of the pockets. There's not a lot you can jam in there. Um, I guess we could overload this bag by using the attachment points and attaching a lot of heavy pouches to the bag, in which case the lack of padding would become an issue. So two things I don't like about the bag very much. The first thing I don't like about the bag is the materials. And this is where we get into the padding on the strap, where we get into the, the cheap buckles, um, where we get into, you know, the ridiculous little mesh beverage holders. Um, everything on this bag feels cheap. Um, it's not a super expensive bag, so I guess that's okay. Um, I don't know. It feels cheap. It doesn't have to feel cheap. I feel like they made some choices here uh, to really go low rent on the bag, which is a shame. Um, so the bag, the materials feel pretty cheap and I don't love that. The only part, in fact, that I really enjoy material wise on the bag um, is the back panel and the zipper pulls on the main zippers, um, which I really enjoy. All right. Second thing I don't love about this bag, these bottle pockets are just ridiculous. So you can put a can of Coke in here, but anything else just doesn't fit in the shape that they've selected. I mean, look at this. That's me jamming it in as far as I can. And look at how much of that bottle pocket is not usable just because of the shape of the bag. Now they could have fixed this. How could they have fixed this? Pretty dang easy actually. So chop off the bottle pocket holder at the spot at which it's going to be used and then add an elastic loop on the outside here instead of these fairly unusable Molly attachment points on the side of the bag or just do Molly attachment points and let people attach their own bottle holder with an elastic band. This as it is, is, is pretty unusable and again, cheap feeling. So, all right, overall, the Oakley Extractor Sling Bag. I've had my eyes on this one for a while and I'm glad to get a chance to play around with it and wear it and use it and see, you know, what is the experience like carrying this bag. Here's my verdict. This one's a pass. I don't like the materials. The water bottle pockets are just borderline unusable. And this entire setup here, in, in practical use, a sling bag is about convenience. And while I had fun with this bag and while it was unique, the whole thing flopping open was not incredibly convenient. And the fact that all the pockets are vertically oriented on the inside with the exception of the two side pockets, which kind of still are vertically oriented, means that, let me show you here, When you swing the sling bag around, as you do with sling bags, and you open this up, even just halfway, what do you have access to? Not, not a ton, the main compartment itself, but everything else you would have to kind of angle this way, which is again, not how a sling bag works. 
So, disappointing. Visually interesting, and you know, if you're looking for a you know a, a, a kind of a gun bag that has you know a, a hook and loop that would fit a holster, I guess this is in play for you. But it's also not very secure, and there's probably better slings out there for that purpose that are purpose built for that. Uh, Vertex, as an example, the the commuter sling from Vertex, the tourist sling from Vertex. Um, Maxpedition slings, like you're probably not getting this just for a concealed carry uh, sling. So I'm not sure why you would be getting this outside of it looks cool. And I will give them that it does look cool. All right, everybody, that's it. That's the review. I hope this is helpful to you in making a purchase decision. If you're looking for what slings I do recommend, there's an entire sling bag playlist that you can uh, gun through and um, watch. I, I think you'll really find a perfect bag in that list. Thank you, everybody, for watching, um, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.